Hi you guys, I hope you're having an amazing day so far. First of all, I want to say thank you guys so much for all the love you guys gave my MacBook Pro unboxing. Like, I didn't think any of you guys were going to like that video and um, I got way more views on that than I normally do and like likes and sweet comments. So I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm really happy you guys liked it. It's kind of hard for me to like break out of my typical content, especially because I'm stuck like in the house right now. So every time I get something new, I'm like, should I just show everyone? Because I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do to stay as safe as possible right now and keep other people safe as well. So I'm like, hey, look, something new and shiny and a little bit different. Anyway, in case you guys are wondering how I'm doing because I haven't been on Instagram or Twitter a whole lot, um, basically the state of my life right now can be summed up by my hair. See those roots? That's almost two months of growth. And uh, my hair used to be pink. If you're new here, this is what my hair looks like after eight weeks. It goes back to blonde pretty fast with pink. So that's what the state of my life is like. The, the roots are grown out. Everything's a little bit faded. We've got like little spiky hairs everywhere because nothing wants to do what it's supposed to right now. It's kind of how everything's going. But I actually managed to wrangle a little bit of time today, which is a small miracle. And I wanted to go through my empties because this empties box is really full. I know there's a lot of vitamins and stuff in here. Again, I actually started throwing out the majority of our supplements and um, like the stuff that my husband uses so that my empties are a little bit more of like makeup, beauty, skincare, etc. But I left a few things in because I don't go through that much makeup that fast. Like, I kind of wish I did, but I just don't have the time to wear it every day, which kind of sucks. But anyway, let's get into it. First up is a candle. You guys know I love, love, love Bath & Body Works candles. Shopping in the store is a wee bit of a nightmare, but I love their candles. I love the way they smell. They burn really nicely. I hate all this wasted bit at the bottom, but for me, they last like forever. So this was salted butterscotch. Normally, I'm very anti-salted things. Like I don't know why we felt like the compulsion to put salt in everything. I'm so happy that like trend is finally starting to die a little bit because anytime I went to Starbucks and they had a really yummy looking drink and that was like salted, I'm like, that's all I'm going to be able to taste. But this does not smell like salt at all. It smells almost entirely like butterscotch, which is why I got it. All right, next, vitamins. I know these are my favorite. I hate taking pills. I hate swallowing pills. Um, I love chewable vitamins. I know they are not like the best for you because it's added sugar and it's a gummy. It's basically like gummy bears for grown-ups, which I'm perfectly fine with. This is the Ollie Women's Multi. I love this vitamin. Really, really good. It doesn't make you sick if you get nauseous from vitamins on an empty stomach. That will not make you sick. So I love those. Um, let's see. Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, so I've actually gone through more than two of these, but um, Nature Made D3. I take a ton of D3 during the winter. Thankfully, we've had like four sunny days this week. Now that we're into March, thank goodness, because lack of sun and my head do not go well together. At first, I was only taking like the serving size 2000 IU of this a day. And then I tried bumping it up. I bumped it up to 3,000 and then I bumped it up to 4,000. And that seemed to be like the best point for me not freaking out when it wasn't sunny out. I'm still a little off on the days when the sun isn't out, but this helps so, so much. Um, I like the Nature Made mostly because they're the only ones you can find right now um, that are like chewables. The Ollie ones are always sold out. 
and my grocery store will usually have these on buy one get one free which is amazing because these things are not cheap and then let's see what else do i have for vitamins let me get through that real quick uh nature made melatonin gummies 10 milligrams these are useless these do nothing for me they do not help they do not put me to sleep um i will take these and be up all night so that's fun however my new favorite is these. These are the Ollie Extra Strength Sleep. These have melatonin in them, of course. They've got like five milligrams of melatonin per serving, I think. Let me check. Yep. These also have lemon balm, passion flower, and chamomile. Chamomile works really, really well for me, but I don't always like drinking tea before bed. And then it also has L-theanine, which it says is an amino acid that encourages calmness. So you can hush those voices in your head and drift off. I think it's the L-theanine in this because I've combined chamomile and melatonin before and it's worked okay. But something about the combo of stuff in this helps me sleep so, so well. Like I don't have nightmares. I don't have trouble falling asleep. I don't wake up in the middle of the night. Like this stuff, if you're having trouble sleeping but you don't want to take like an actual sleeping pill, give these a shot. They're really good. And I'm trying to go through all the vitamins really quick because I know it's boring. And then the last one is these. I started taking these again to combine with the um, D3. This is the Ollie Daily Energy. These are vitamin B12 with CoQ10 and goji berry. Um, the big reason I take these is because it has um, 300 micrograms. So that's like 12,500% of your daily value of vitamin B12. Um, B12 is found mainly in red meat. I don't eat a whole lot of red meat. We do, like, I love red meat. Don't get me wrong. I don't think I could be a vegetarian. I tried. We kind of balance things out, though. Probably about half our meals in the week are all, like, vegetarian, plant-based, etc. And then the other half will have, like, a meat-based protein. But um, we probably only have red meat maybe, maybe once a week tops. And then it's usually in a really small amount, like a ground beef and a taco with a bunch of veggies or something. Or we'll have like a small steak if it's a special event or something. But we don't eat a ton of red meat. Like we tend to eat a lot more chicken, pork, and then just a lot of veggie based meals because we do HelloFresh. So I've been getting like half of our meals are veggie and half are meat based. But when your B12 is low, your energy is low. So I've been taking a B12 supplement occasionally, only when I feel like I need it. And it's really been helping augment my energy levels without having to overdo it on the caffeine. Like once I get to the point where I'm sleeping like six, seven hours a night. I know eight to nine is best, that's what I aim for, but six to seven is more realistic. Once I get to the point where I am like, I need a third cup of coffee in the day, then I'm like, okay, time to adjust my sleep, adjust my vitamins, etc. Okay, anyway, enough about vitamins. On to more fun stuff. A body wash. This is the Love Beauty and Planet Turmeric and Tonka Essence Body Wash. I liked their um, shampoo so well that I decided to try a body wash. I was not a big fan of this. Now don't get me wrong, it's a really nice body wash. It smells incredible. But just like their other products, I don't know what it is. I go through these so fast. They don't last. Like I don't know why. I don't know if I'm using too much. I don't know, but I seem to go through these so much faster than other products. I mean, it's a good body wash, but there's others that I like more, right? Next, I went through a mask, excuse me, because this is gross. This is the Ion Smooth Keratin Smoothing Mask. I really like these masks from Ion. I get these at Sally's when I pick up my hair dye and my bleach. And these are so nice. One of these packets on my length hair will last like three to four treatments. And they're really, really good. Like I don't notice a huge, huge difference, 
but there's enough of a difference that it helps with styling and my hair just feels softer and it gets a bit shinier, so that's really nice. Plus, I like doing more concentrated keratin treatments every once in a while because my hair is strongly bleached, so that helps kind of improve the integrity of my hair. As you can see, it's growing crazy fast. That's so like an inch of roots in a month and a half to two months. That's pretty quick for me. Um, speaking of hair, I went through the Ion Sensitive Scalp 20 Volume Developer. This is probably my favorite developer. I was using another one, like the Mystic Divine, I think. It was in a brown bottle. It's recommended um, by the lady who worked at Sally's the first time I bleached my hair, and I do like that one. But I think the Ion one is much more gentle. My scalp doesn't freak out as much. And I find that this helps. Like, it processes a bit slower, even compared to like the twine volume of the other developer I was using. It just gives me a bit more time to work with it. It mixes in really well and it doesn't stink super bad, which makes me very happy. Next, I went through something that I've not repurchased yet, but I desperately need to because this is like a staple in my makeup desk. This is the Sonia Kashuk Quick Clean Brush Spray. I do not know what is in this. Quite frankly, I do not care. This stuff is amazing. This will get blue, black, like crazy hard colors to wash out of your brushes, out of my brushes really fast. It cleans them beautifully. Of course, I still wash my brushes frequently, but this is amazing for like quick color changes if you don't have time to wash them, if you do a super bright look, but you know you're doing neutrals the rest of the week. This is amazing for cleaning your brushes, so I really like that a lot. Harry Shave Gel. You guys know I have to sing the praises of this stuff. Hate the razors. Love the gel though. The shave gel is so good and their body washes smell really good too but um this I would recommend if you don't like like super fruity scented shave gels if you and your husband or boyfriend like sharing stuff this is perfect for that like I don't even bother buying my own shave gel because I'll either use my body wash or use that uh let's see Ooh, okay I have to buy more of these these are the Shiseido Facial Cotton. These are my absolute favorite. I use these for taking off my makeup, toner, and for doing my nails. They're incredible. I wouldn't mind, I have looked into switching to like eco-friendly reusable um, cotton pads, but my only thing is you can't use those to take off nail polish. So like half of what I use these for is for nail polish. So I'm kind of like, I don't know if you've gone to reusable cotton pads, like what brands do you like? What kind do you use? Um, do you like them? Do they work well? And what do you use for your nail polish? Do you still buy these for nail polish and just reduce your usage of them? I, I don't know, but anyway, I do love these a lot, even though they're stupid expensive. Next up, Batiste Dry Shampoo. This one is in Floral and Flirty Blush, which I love a lot. This can is larger than my head. This is like one of the jumbo cans. I love Batiste. It's my favorite dry shampoo that I've tried. Works really, really well in my hair. My hair does not respond well to dry shampoo. I'm one of those girls who it does not matter how much I tried to train my hair to not get greasy. Like I tried not washing it for like three weeks and it still did not like get magically ungreasy. I have very fine, very thin hair. It gets oily like the next day. It's oily, like oil slick. Like this is my hair freshly washed. And I can guarantee you by the end of the day, I'm going to have some oil. It's just the way my scalp works. But this saves my butt because usually second day, I can kind of squeak by without doing something. But by third day, it's either got to be washed or I've got to use dry shampoo. So I highly recommend Batiste if you haven't tried a dry shampoo yet. Another product I really like but I haven't rebought mostly because I'm lazy and partly because I'm curious if there's any other thermal protectants that might not be better 
is the Trust Me Heat Tamer. This I really do like. It's good, but it smells like hairspray. It's not my favorite thing to use. It kind of gets all over. It makes my bathroom floor slippery. So I'm on the fence on this. It's one of those products I keep rebuying because I haven't tried anything new yet. So if you use a heat protectant, let me know which one you guys use, if you love it, if you have any that you recommend. Uh, next up, the Mario Badescu Facial Sprays. As you can see, this one is not completely done because I've had this for probably close to four years now and I still haven't finished it. What does this tell us about a product? It tells me that I do not like this product. These facial sprays make your face look greasy. Not just like glowy, it looks greasy. It leaves a film on my face. I don't like them. I've tried three different kinds of these and they're just not my favorite. They sit on top of your skin, they don't sink in. It just doesn't work for me. Maybe if you have drier skin than I do, it might help and it might be good, but for my skin, which is, it's more normal to dehydrated, this just sits on top and doesn't do much. Another product that I have not used at all, but is going in my empties, correction, I used it once, I tried it again because I got a Sephora Play Box and it reminded me how much I hate it. This is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer, okay. Listen, if you have skin like baby's butt, like you have perfectly smooth, not a single line, not a single mark, not a single bump, I'm talking your skin looks like magic, then this will work for you. However, this makes my skin, I have some fine lines, I've got acne, I've got acne scarring, and I get dry patches. This makes my skin look like crap because this over illuminates like this is meant to be a moisturizer not just like a primer it doesn't matter how little of this i use every single imperfection on my face every little bump every little pore that's a different size shows up with this no matter what you put on top it is not a good look at all. I don't like it, um, which is a shame because I really do like a lot of Glam Glow's products. But this one, mm -mm, I do not like it. If you're looking for an illuminating primer that works really well and gives you a pretty glow without looking like you have glitter under your makeup, I would highly recommend the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. I'm about done with this sample and I'm seriously very close to buying a full size of this because my skin looks beautiful, it looks glowy, it looks illuminated, but it doesn't look sparkly. It doesn't look like you can see every little bump on my face. I'm not a big fan of that. Like I don't like super matte and I don't like so shiny that you can see imperfections. Glowy, bright, hydrated, I love. Shiny, shiny, like you dipped yourself in a vat of glitter and then tried to put foundation on top. Mm -mm. Do not like. All right, next. My toothpaste, of course, you guys know I have very, very bad teeth genetically. They're weak, they crumble, they're super sensitive. They're very, very angry teeth in general. Um, I love the Sensodyne Pro Namel. I kind of switch like which ones I get. Um, I do not get the one with stannous fluoride in it though. I only get the ones that have um, sodium fluoride because stannous fluoride can stain your teeth and make them darker and I do not need that problem. But um, this one's the daily protection. I like the daily protection. I like the gentle whitening. All of those are really good. This is excellent if you have really sensitive teeth. I like this a lot. Like I can even occasionally whiten my teeth and use this and it helps like prevent pain from that. See, next up is the Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Mask. It's a seaweed radiance facial. Okay, so I have mixed feelings on this. It smells good, like it smells like tea, which I like. However, it's chunky. 
I have mixed feelings on chunky masks. I left some in here so you guys could see, see all that. It's very chunky. I'm not a big fan of random chunks of stuff on my face. It also didn't seem to do a whole lot for my skin, which is a shame because I love fresh products and their Lotus line is really nice, but I'm hesitant on like masks with big chunks of stuff in it. They're just uncomfortable to wear, they're uncomfortable to use, they're hard to wash off. So I'm like mixed on that. Okay, next we have the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Cream. Um, it's supposed to be a moisture retention shield. This would be something that it's very thick, very, very thick. You have to like warm it up in your hands because it's almost like a balm, like a really heavy, heavy balm though. This is one of those things that if is good if you have like continual dry patches in an area. After you do all your skincare, use a small amount of this over that area. I wouldn't use this over your whole face. Um, it says apply it over your whole face. If you're sensitive about having like super like thick stuff on your face though and you don't like that feeling, then you may not want to use this all over. I liked using this um, on my forehead where I was particularly dry over other moisturizers as like a last step before bed. That's kind of what this is good for. I don't think I'd ever purchase a full size of this, but it's not bad. Next up, oh my heart. My favorite, favorite, favorite eyeliner. This is the Stila Stale Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is in the shade Intense Black. This is actually a felt tip. Normally I hate felt tips. This one you can see is unfortunately almost out because I can't get um, pigment to the tip of it anymore. Like all you get is like that light gray. But when this is fresh and not old and dried out, this is amazing. It is the only felt tip liner I've ever liked. I wish they made it in a brush tip, but this is probably the closest felt tip liner to functioning like a brush tip that I've ever tried. It's beautiful, I love the formula. It goes on opaque over metallics, which is huge. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Like. If you have trouble with eyeliners and are finicky with eyeliners, I love this one. This one is so, so good. Next step, the Elginist Genius Sleeping Collagen. Uh, this is another product I haven't finished up. First of all, it smells weird. Like it smells kind of like Play-Doh, which freaks me out a little bit. Also, it's really thick. It's one of those creams that you put on your face and it's like kind of like smearing your face with Bunny Bell Lip Smacker. Your face feels really just, not even like tight, but almost feels like you have like a full on face mask on. It's really uncomfortable. So yeah, I don't really like that. I don't recommend it. And I didn't notice any difference in my skin either. Okay. Next we have a lip gloss that is almost entirely gone. There's still a little bit left, but it has gone off. It's got that funky smell to it. This one I would highly recommend. It's the Sephora Ultra Shine Lip Gel. These I love. If you guys are looking for a wonderful gloss, but you need more colors than like ColourPop provides, check out the Sephora Ultra Shine Lip Gels. These are incredible. This one is in the shade Pin Up Pink. It's a beautiful pink, but it's very sheer. It's not like super opaque, like bam, you have pink on your lips. This goes on so pretty. I use this over so many different lipsticks. I really, really like this a lot. Highly, highly recommend if you want a sheer soft pink gloss. And then I bought this back in November on my last trip to Sephora. This is Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. This is my baby. I love this stuff so, so much. Like seriously, you guys, this is probably one of my top two or three moisturizers ever. Like. This one I will repurchase again and again and again as long as they continue making it because this is 
fantastic, especially if you have skin that is prone to dehydration and flaking. Not like super dry, tight skin, but mine is more of a... Uh, used to be super oily. During the summer, it's oily, but it's more of a normal to dehydrated most of the time. This is incredible. It's so good. This goes amazing under makeup. This is probably my very favorite moisturizer to use under makeup. It just makes your skin feel so just soft and beautiful and hydrated, and it sinks in and just, I cannot, sing the praises of this enough. It's expensive. It's worth every penny. I love it to pieces. It doesn't leave a white cast on your skin. It doesn't need to be like worked in like some moisturizers. Like the one I'm using from The Ordinary right now is a beautiful moisturizer. It's what I'm wearing under my makeup today. But you kind of have to work it in and then pat it in. This belief one, it just you smooth it on, pat it once or twice, and it just goes like right into your skin. It's fantastic. Highly, highly, highly recommend will be repurchasing. Oh, and um, I almost forgot about these. <laughs> uh, coconut oil, Epsom salts. Love these. Epsom salts are incredible for baths, especially if you have sore muscles. Okay, now I'm done. Now everything is gone. Let me double check my desk. Yes? Okay, yes. We're all done. <laughs> anyway, that is it for my empties. Thank goodness now I have a pile of crap on my floor. I have to either throw away or get in the recycle bin. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little video. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. If you enjoyed this video, Video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe to my channel I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday you can also keep up with me on Twitter and Instagram and the links for those are down below thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you again very very soon bye